Hello, everybody. I am live today. Yay. I hope everybody's doing well. I just um, finished eating, so I am ready to go. Um, I hope all of you have, have had a good Friday. So I'm just making sure I'm online. Yay to the person who thumbs up my video. I have already put in all the links. So you guys can find the stuff that you need to find. So hello to everybody watching. Now, first thing I got, we're going to do the haul first. We're continuing in this image that I started last week, which is um, the um, the goddess of the sea is the name of the picture. And we colored this with Holbein's Black Widows, Black Widows, Prismas, and a couple of other things. So I hope you're all well. So the first thing I got, because I'm going to be going on vacation soon. Hi, Becky. The first thing I got when I, because I'm going to be going on vacation is I need a pencil case. So I decided to get this um, pencil case. It holds 72 pencils, but what's neat about it is that it has, um, as you can see, I've already started a little bit to put stuff in. This is my graphite pencil, which I use for a lot of things. And then I also have that kneaded eraser. I'll probably put in a pencil sharpener in here. And then I got to decide which pencils I'm taking. So what I like is there's a nice little container. And then there's little containers here and here. So, yeah, I put a link down to um, where all the stuff is that I um, have for the haul. So you guys can find the stuff. And then they have stuff like this, the regular pencil. Plus, these, someone said to me they're removable. One of the cases, is, one of the things is removable if you need to. And then what I like is they have a nice big space in the back. If you want to put a little travel size book in, maybe like one of those little tiny pocket size coloring books. So I thought that was really nice. Now, the next thing I bought was from 70 East Books, and this is a Korean coloring book. It's called Zip Key. Hi, Kim. So I thought that was nice to have a nice case like that. So when I go travel, I'll have things. I actually first saw it on whose channel? I think it was either Dev's. Or maybe, oh, what is the one? What's her name? She It's something with an A, her channel. So this is a Korean book. It's called Zipsy Coloring Book, but it's called Temperature of Love. You get it on 70 East Books from June. You get the typical pink thing. And this is what the cover looks like without the pink thing on it. So then you get the nice background. This book kind of reminds me kind of the way that same way that Forest Girl is set up. Get the next thing here. This has really nice paper in it when I touch it. Get the nice background. This is a Korean coloring book. So and then they give you some tips as to how to do it. If you have the Google Translate app on your phone, it'll translate this for you. So that's good. Run past the technique. And then they have some pictures in it of what's in the book. Like they have this picture here and then they have a girl here. So this kind of reminds me of the way that Forest Girl is set up where they have one picture here and then they'll have the picture here. And then you got the boy. Your color. And here they have this picture here. And then they have the exact same picture here. So it's very similar to the way that Forest Girls is put together. So here, if you turn it over, you see this is the picture that this is that. You don't have to match your pictures, but I know a lot of people, when they get books like this, try to match the picture on the other side. Or, or you can not, you know, you can do something completely different. But this just gives you an example of what somebody else may have done. So, but the line work is kind of like some of the line is some of the line art is a little dark, some of it's lighter. So, I just thought you guys would like that. That this is a really about a couple in love. You know, it's the paper's nice. Could you watercolor on this? I would not watercolor because then you would ruin this image over there. That is just my opinion. So, you could do that. Now, when I bought this book, I didn't realize that this was a, um, what we call a technique book. 
So before we get on with that, I want to show you how my 4K project is going on, Becky. This is what I've managed to do so far for the turkey. I finished it up a little bit more. <laughs> hey, May. So this is what I'm doing for Becky's. Now, I finished um, the picture for Sammy already, which was the little mice. So this is uh, the thing that I'm working on for Becky's uh, HK5 project. So that's what I'm working on. This was done with um, this part here was done with Tombos, and this is Tombos. This pink was not a Tombow, and this these leaves are a Pablo pencil. So I use a lot of different sets together. So that's what I'm doing in the 5K you uh, are wondering. So then I saw this on Dee Dee's channel. And I liked what I had seen on Dee's channel. Now they give you, it's not a coloring book, it's a tutorial book. I can, oh, it's more a tutorial book, it's not a coloring book. This just teaches you, like there's pictures here. And so you could do this. This I would say is uh, grayscale more often. They give you pictures in the front to color. So there are some pictures in this, but this is more about techniques and strategies on how you would do stuff like this. So. They give you some ideas on how to do things and techniques that you guys can use. Not that I've ever been really good with techniques, you know, but it is a good book if you want to practice doing eyes and things like that. So. Actually, once I get the translator to work and then I'll figure out how to do it, you know, Dee Dee had this on her channel. So this this picture is to color, but I guess basically, like, that's how you do the lesson. So. The next book. This is a small haul that I've gotten over the last few weeks. I didn't get it all at once, but um, there was some more stuff coming. But unfortunately, that stuff has not arrived, so... Yeah, this is um, Country Romance Coloring Book by Jade Summer. You know, you guys know that I love Jade Summer, right? There's some books I get, and then there's some books I do not get, because those books that I don't get don't appeal to me. Hello, Shar. This one I really like because of the couples in love. kind of almost reminds me of Color in Heaven's um, romantic country scenes. I really like these pictures. It has old people. It has young people. It like it does a whole kind of things like this. Like, I like this picture here. So that's that one. Gee, Becky. <laughs> Becky sees this one and goes, oh, I know that one. This one is called Tolkien's World. Now, I've actually, Becky, before I saw this one on your channel, I actually saw this over at Michelle Colors picture. She was doing a picture from it, and I'm like, what book is that from? And it actually had some interesting pictures in this book. So, there's some really nice scenic pictures in this paper. So, I do like the pictures in it. Kind of has a very much, it has a fantasy feel to it. werewolves so. that's uh something there will be flip throughs <laughs> so i actually saw it at the show before i saw it at becky so that's that one. um i left links purchase all the stuff that i showed even the pencil case so this is 101 unique Mandela's. It's a big coloring book with great variety of mixed Mandela designs and over 100 different Mandela's to color. So hi Lisa and Bridget. So, as some of you know, I'm actually in the middle of doing this one. I'm almost finished with this one. And May, look what it has when you go up close. It has glitter. And we know who the glitter is for, right May? 
It's for Little Pickle, a.k.a. Jolie. So I have some glitter in it. So when it's done, it has a little bit of sparkle to it. You guys can't really see it because it doesn't always come out on the channel. I don't know why, but it's just something that happens with the, I guess, the pens. Yes, glitter for pickle is the hashtag. So today we will be co continuing the picture in Serene. This one is called Goddess of the Sea. So um, this one is, I don't even know what we're going to do with the whale. I'm going to have an issue with the whale. So don't you worry, we'll have this. And I know what I'm going to do with the whale. I just need a light enough gray. Do this. And if you guys are wondering, this is a Soho Urban Artist pencil. Now, these you know, never see. I don't see anybody use these. So I figured today we'll use it. But I'm only going to use it as a base color. First time I'm sharpening a pencil with these in there. Oh, it worked in these. Interesting. This is a light gray pencil. Nice and sharp. I'm going very light with this pencil. Hi, Alexandra. Hello to everybody in the chat that I've missed. Then I'm also, you know what, guys? I'm just going to zoom in a little bit closer so you guys can see that. So you guys can see what I'm doing. images now we'll get into the there's some bits that are really fine in this picture so you have to be a little bit careful what you do with this one so then we put that in there and then this one is called Thalo turquoise. Yes, I'm using my Soho's today. going very gently for me. Hmm, I'm not sure, May. A tease of watercolors, super colors. How about those new pencils that came in your scroll box? Or is it the Aquafine set that you got from uh, the Squirrel Box? Yes, I actually watched that video of me. These are Soho Urban Artist pencils. I've never heard of that set, Miss May. I'm 
I'm sorry, but that's a funny name to me. Then you got a color called Urban Blue. Okay, I was not sure what they were called because I hadn't heard of them. This book is like um, a pencil lover's dream. I'm gonna do that. And I haven't used these pencils in this book. I don't get to use my Soho's as much because I don't really find paper that likes them too much. And then um, this is Cobalt Blue. Guys, I need to sharpen this pencil. Aww, he was cute. Your cat was really cute, though. <laughs> so what time are you streaming, Alexandra? So the rest of the people can know what time you're streaming. I like to promote new people. I know people like. So. Okay, you'll be streaming shortly after me. Following the set, I need. So then this one is called Ultramarine Violet. little pickle okay you'll be coming from seasons um yeah you know may i love what you got in your um scroll box oh no my cats are beautiful though Phoebe has beautiful cats those cats are so white They're lovely cats, though. They're beautiful.
on this. I'm just going to put some So that way you guys can see me beautiful. You know, for me, I have an idea of where I want the picture to go when I do it. Oh, Pickle missed the picture that I have in progress, but when it's done, I'll show Pickle what I did with the mandala. So, you know, I always have an idea of where I'm going to take a picture, and then sometimes things change. Hi, April. How are you? So now this one is Prussian blue. Not just this, but it doesn't exactly. I love the, you know, I love seeing those um, subscription boxes. See what people get. You know, I'm actually waiting on my, uh, what is it called, my sketch box to come. Can't wait to see what goodies they put in this month in it. So, you know, I'm back to subscribing to that box. I think the boxes are worth it. Yes, what comes in a boxy charm box? I'm kind of curious to know what what comes in that. But like um beauty supplies. Thank you. Oh no. Um, is everybody else okay? Because some people are saying that they're buffering. If you're buffering, guys, try to put the settings to 1080. You can change the settings if you need to change them. Yeah, no. Actually, guys, we might be doing it for a new text sooner than later. Mm -hmm. Now, this is cool gray. I just want to make sure, you know, um, this is cool gray. Yeah, this just keeps the coolness to the wheel. Or did you try re um, adjusting your settings? Those who know me know that, um, hi, Beth Ann, know that animals are my greatest weakness. That I really. 
Now this color is Naples yellow. It really comes out like a brown. I don't know why on some books it comes out so brown, then on other books it comes out more yellowish. I don't know if that's um, an effect of the paper that does that. I like this paper too. I thought it was something fun and different to do, you know? Just to have a little bit of a fun time with it. To do some fun things with that. Alzarian Crimson. Oh, I made that too red. I'm gonna have to line that up with the white. Oh, I love. I made that too close to the hair. And it's a really, you know, you're not going to know how you're going to pair with this book. Until you actually color in this book. Um, man, you should have taken water with you or even Gatorade because then you would have had, um, been hydrated. You know, whenever you go out long periods in the sun, besides wearing suntan lotion, things like that, you should always take, like, um, water or something that's going to hydrate you because you lose. They say if you're in the sun, you can get easily, um, dehydrated. This theory is beautiful. Pick the hair color. I picked the color that was too close to the hair color. That's okay. You can always worry about that later. These colors, these snowballs are weird because um, sometimes based on the colors you use or any little thing with these pencils, it's a funny thing with these pencils because they're really good pencils. But the problem with them is. that on certain paper they work better than others and then on other you know paper determines sometimes how the pencil will react to something hi mia hello everybody oh okay mia i don't know that's stuck I don't like when my pencil gets stuck now this color is called Ravidian. Thank you for turning off the light. My mother just turned off the big light in the house. But she's going to lay down. You know, my mother's um, actually home with me now that she's uh, telecommuting. So it's a little bit different because I like to have my Fridays to myself.
you know, so now the things are different. And that's one reason why I've had to go on later on um, Friday, because she's in the house with me, so. Schedules change, real life. Thumbs up. I'm thinking I should have you guys can see that. <laughs> Man, I find that very hard to believe that you didn't have pencils with you. You know, since I've started this um, channel and this thing, I don't get to read too often. And that's something that i got to change in the upcoming year so I get more books read and things like that. Um, I did get Comic-Con tickets. Only thing, because of the mishap with my email, I didn't get the emails for the notifications. And then, I, you know, I got fan verified on the day that they went on sale for the general public. So I, I didn't get my Saturday tickets, but I did get Thursday and Friday tickets. Which is okay, because you know what? You can't always get everything you want. You know, one of the things I like about Comic-Con is you get to see everybody dressed up and having a good time. It sounds like it was fun time. You know, guys, we almost, actually, I'm going to show you the picture that I almost chose to work on, which would have been this one. We almost worked on this one. I know a lot of you would have chosen that one. But I thought I wanted to give myself a little bit of a challenge. So, we almost worked on that one. But I think maybe, you know, I'd like to challenge what I do. Now this color is called Moth. Hey Jacqueline. But I'm gonna make the other part different color. For that, I'm going to have to bring out my polys. Yay! Hi, Candy. Hi, Kim. Hello to everybody coming in. Wow, 19 people. That's a lot. Thank you guys for coming in. Guys, I need my Pablos. I have everything all over my place. If you see me roll my chair, that means I'm going to get another pencil case. That's 
further down the line. What is that called? I don't know. This was one of the first colors that I fell in love with in the set of polychromos. And this is Fuchsia. This is Fuchsia and this is a polychromos. Yep, man, we went to a poly's. And you know, um, we were talking about this um, in Becky's stream a little bit, but I, I'm going to follow up it and say something like, I love Sammy, I love May. Watching how other people do skin really helped me learn how to do it for myself. And also, you know, you play around with what works and what doesn't work for you. And then the other person who was a big influence on me was Jennifer Stay because Jennifer Stay taught me the rule of threes. Like there's three different pressures for pencil, light, medium, and hard. You know, and you have to figure out what kind of colorist you are. I feel like me, my natural tendency is to go hard with my pencils. So, you know, some people are lighter handed than others. So I really didn't understand that until I started using other mediums. A lot more and once you use other mediums sometimes using other mediums helps you with your first medium because then you take the time off from using that medium and then you start coloring with markers watercolor and you learn a lot more about that medium too and those mediums actually help you in a way that the other things didn't help you with you know now i really like jennifer stays to um some of her tutorials because she makes it a, a very easy to understand. We're not doing skin today. Because, you know, I mix colors in from other sets to do skin. Like the other day, someone was telling me they can't do skin tones with the combo Ayrton. And I go, yes, you can. You just have to learn how to mix them, right? And learn what colors work for you in skin. Because what you use in light tone skin people is going to be different than what you use for darker skin people. And what works for me may not work for you. You know, I actually, when I'm looking at this picture, I forgot how detailed this picture really is. You know, it's true because depending on what kind of, you know, and also, you know, Sammy had a good point. Look at your own skin tone and see what colors you can find in your own skin tone to look at it. Oh no. It's nonstop construction downstairs by where I get my packages in my building. They've been um, doing the lobby now. We were supposed to have this done already, but no, because there's been nothing but delays and other things that have been happening with this. So, you know, I'm sure it's going to look great when it's done, but it's been a little bit of an inconvenience. That's okay. These things happen. I'll tell you guys the truth. This is one book that has intimidated me. This is only the second picture that we've actually. Why did they build it?
also guys, I want to say something about, um, there's a project going to be happening on Etsy, um, and 10% of the profits will be going to, um, I think, charity, but I'm not sure what charity yet because I don't have all the details yet. But there's going to be a book called Races for Charity, a PDF book, and it's going to have authors like um, Anastasia Cordova and um, a few other well-known ones, but um, she's the most popular one that I found out that's participating in the project. And the money is going to be going to charity. It's called Faces for Charity. There's a, quite a few authors attached to it. But the book goes on sale on July 1st. So it's going to be a PDF. So you buy this book, you can print out the pictures that you like. So take that as you will. That's fuchsia. So that's that color. And the other day, I want to show you how little my cadmium orange pencil. Look how little my cadmium orange pencil is. This is how little it is, and I don't have a replacement. So I have to. I, and there's a few other pencils I don't have replacements for. So I have to go in and get the replacements for them. Um, I have to go place an order at. Um, Dick Wicks. I love Dick Wicks um, service. So this color is called Dark Flesh, but you can use it for coral and things like that. Hi, Robin. Sometimes you can use skin tones. For things like corals and, and sea life. Hold on, guys. I want to zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh, no. That's too much. Then the picture gets blurry. I don't know why, but I think this makes a better coral color than it does a skin tone and floral color. You now, sometimes you get colors that. They look better as a coral color. Those are the little Nemo fish, clown fish. This color is called white flesh. And this is also polychromos.
I tell you guys, this book really, really loves pencils. To me, when I do this, I have to have an idea of what I want to do with this. because then I know what I'm doing with this book. Got a skin tone. This is, as you can tell, I just recently replaced this color. This is called Grass Green. I'm going to take off the sticky because it just replaced it. I am still waiting for my sketch box, guys. If my sketch box comes tomorrow, well, before I stream, then we'll have it included. If not, then I'll probably just make a video, uh, an unboxing video. Sometimes I'll move the camera down so you guys can get a better view of what I'm doing. it's really if you like what I'm doing guys just give it a thumbs up that helps the channel so much For some reason I think I did them white brown the rock should be what is this green gold? So, I'm going to do my rocks differently. I'm not going to do them in a typical gray, gray color. I'm going to do them in burnt ochre. Just gonna do something here. We'll see what I'm doing in a second with that. And now we go back to the permanent white. So 
So I like doing all the crazy things. Sometimes I like to experiment. Experimenting is how we learn. And I, and I always say to somebody, actually, you learn more from your failures than you do your successes. At least that's what I've always told, told myself. No matter what I did, learning from your mistakes is important. So here's the white again. Sharpened it up nice and sharp. And I am not doing a background on this picture. I think this picture speaks for itself. I know some people actually tear out the pages in this book, so. Well, I think, you know what, your failures teach you more than your successes, May. For me, that's always been the case. And this one is light permanent red and this is a polychromos you know i used to not like coloring people and now i've really learned to like coloring people but that's because i got better at my skin tone and i'm going to show you one of i think in one of my hand of calls of the book i have a simple that i totally failed that One of these books, I have a, a uh, I'm not sure if it's in magic. The spare skin tone. No, that's not it. My God, I still have a lot of pictures. Here it is. This was what happens when you try to learn how to do skin tone and you try to mix it in. This is one of my failed attempts. And this comes from the book. Well, this was one of my earliest attempts at skin tone. You guys actually don't see how bad it is because the camera obscures it a lot. So what I was trying to do was do darker, trying to make it the skin a little darker. And that didn't turn out too bad. It turned out really bad. And this is from Magical Dawn. At some point, I'm going to go back in with this. So some of you can see some of my earliest, um, this was one of my earliest skin attempts, trying to do darker skin to make it look darker and put more tone and definition in it. This didn't come out too good, did it? She looks like she needs. I can still do it darker, man. You would have to, <laughs> I don't even know what the hell I did. That's the problem. I don't even know how to fix it. That's the problem. <laughs> Look at me. I think I will have to get to pick me up on that offer. So you see, not everything is a success that I try. <laughs> I'm just saying. So this is like having him run. So oh, yeah. Thank you, Alexander. Have a good you too. Have a good no, I'm getting a notification, guys. No, because they're doing construction downstairs and it's taking forever to do anything in the building, I get notifications 
oh, don't use this, don't do this, you can't use this entrance, or you can't do that, go through the back. I have really enjoyed doing different things. It is, it's really hard to do anything when you do that. At some point this weekend, I'll do a finished pages video. I guess working on her computer. Yeah, because she has a computer that she uses for work. Um, the company gave it to her so she could work from home. So. And what's funny is that she needed a bag, and um, I happened to ha have bought, when I bought this computer, I bought a, a bag for the Mac. So I was telling her, well, well you need a, a computer bag? I have one. You know, I buy things I think I'm going to need. You know, when you buy a computer, you need to buy the computer itself. Then you have to buy the peripherals, and then you have to buy the warranty. You know, and one thing about Apple is they're very good with their customer service. I cannot be the clouds are white. Anybody's wondering. Tombos. Good tumbles. These are tumbles. Here's the thing I love Macs. The thing about a Mac is it's more reliable than a PC, it's more endurable. I never colored her ear. Here is, and this color is called plum. Ooh, that's a nice purple. This is plum. What's a razor quartz? I'm not familiar with that. Here's the thing about Macs as opposed to apples. <clears throat> Macs are adorable. They don't get as many viruses. I mean, it's very rare for a Mac to get a virus, but it doesn't happen too often. So keep that in mind. I'll tell you right now, all the pencils that I've chosen for this picture, everything is. I'm still streaming. No, no one's on the phone, so. Keep that in mind.
you know what that that always happens when they first send out anything new you know that everything is you know oh this and this and this you know you know that going into anything you buy you know it's all about you know what you like what you don't like No, that to be what color is this? The one. Exactly, you know, when they do beta testing. Like when you do beta testing for anything. Remember when we used to have those first the first um The first, um, what did we used to call them? The first Kindles. I'm just moving this guy so I can now. Uh, so you guys can see what I'm doing. I like this picture a lot. I think it's one of my favorites. Now this is called Fawn. This is Fawn. Now not many people see this color. I have a MacBook Pro. I, I bought this at the Apple store a few years ago by where I was. No, I didn't get all my pencils all at once, guys. That would have been too expensive, so. I even brought out my movies, too. What is the Chromecast? I'm not familiar with the Chromecast. Excuse me, guys, I'll take a sip of... by Google. You know, so I, I, I think one day what's going to happen is all TV is going to be streamed. I'm going to have to make these colors too because these are the little clownfish. You know, I remember clownfish. I never knew what they were called until I saw, um, what is it? Finding Nemo by Pixar. Surprisingly, I didn't know what those fish were until that. Hi, everybody. Coming in that I if I don't say hi, it's because I'm busy working on the picture. We still have to do this, these little strings, this, this, and this. And those leaves. And then we're done. And then maybe we'll do another picture in the book. Oh. Okay. I didn't know what it was, so. I've heard of it, but I don't really, I didn't really know what it does. This clownfish and this and this, and we only have four parts left. You know, it's like everything is getting more expensive. You know, my mother was watching the Democratic debates last night.
And we used all kinds of pencils for this May. And coral can be all kinds of different colors, guys. Keep that in mind too. Uh, is plastic pink. Although I think maybe I should do it in a purple. Get it different color. Yeah, that's a good color. And this color is called Tyrian Purple. This is a, a Tombow Irritant. I don't think Mac's overpriced. Depends on what you get for your Mac. You have to remember. Thank you too, May. Take care. We'll probably do another picture from this book too. And color can be all kinds of colors. This is Jay Blue. Oh, I like that. Bye, man. I love my iPhone. I can do everything with my iPhone. Are you hear me? It's like the best thing ever. The clownfish don't have to be orange and black like me. Well, I've seen them both green and blue. Green and purple. Oh, no. I hope he's okay, May. We don't want anything bad happening to anybody. And I really mean that, guys. I don't want anybody ever feeling like they have to say if they have to go somewhere and be somewhere. So, we're going to finish a picture today. The one's on the screen. So happy that we're gonna finish the picture. <laughs> this color is called the uh, what is this midnight blue? in a box and every finish thing on it. I'm going to turn this back over, guys, so then we finished a picture in the rain. Almost done. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to make this. I think I put rain on it. 
think I want to change the color of the moon. See you later, Nick and Tina. This is purple. I have no idea what color this is because it's so tiny. This is what we call mint tiny. Just to keep it darker so we have finished a picture in some reading guys so i'm going to zoom back out so you guys can see what we've done so that is our finished page in serene so there's another picture I wanted to do in Serene, and I don't know why, but this picture speaks to me. And this is another picture that I want to do in Serene. This picture speaks to me. It just recently spoke to me, too. This is the next picture I want to do in Serene. guys just got you weren't supposed to see that this is the next picture i want to do in serene so you guys want to continue with this picture then we can have fun doing something else You want to be okay. Don't know why this thing is not moving the way that it should move. Okay, now I got the image at the perfect angle. As you can see. So, this color is called straw yellow. You know, the thing about this book is he has so many beautiful images in his coloring books, Nick Gilbert. This one, he uses um, the Chandra Mita one. And I'm using the combos as a base because they're lighter than everything else. They're muted. Basically, you can use any pencil like that, but you just have to have to be very light with it. 
that's something that I struggled really um, early on when I was starting to color be lighter handed. But, you know, for me, <laughs> these are not as expensive as people think they are, Becky. Really, they're not. They're really not. This is called Narcissus. And don't worry, guys, she's going to be a brunette. Becky, I didn't see you get envious of the Soho's when I was using the Soho's. You should call in this book. This book is beautiful. You know, it, it's a funny thing. You know, um, I'm glad that Sammy's going to be coming back. You know, when I saw her do a picture in this book, I was just absolutely amazed by how beautiful the, the page came out. Not this picture, but other pictures. But the thing with the Soho is that they don't work in every book. Some pencils work really good. Now, this is the first book where I can say that every pencil in this book, every pencil I own, literally works extremely well the only things i haven't tested in this is ink tests but if i was to buy another copy of this book i would just use it for watercolor i would actually take the pages out and then color with water around them so that's what i would do if i ever got a second copy because the pages are so pretty Apricot. What do you want a second copy of? Uh, You know, for me, it's just, right now, Becky, I have so many books that I need to finish at least a couple of more books. And I want to thank Colin Chastain because I saw her do a picture recently in Serene, and I absolutely fell in love with what she did with Serene. And someone was telling me that they were having a hard time coloring in some of the books because they didn't really understand the Tombos. 
you know, some people are saying that they can't color with the Tombos. And that makes me sad because I think the Tombos are a really great pencil. Now this one. Burnt ochre. This is a polychromous. The only thing that I haven't learned how to do skin tone with yet is my polychromos. I tried to do it a little bit with my Lyris and it didn't come out too well. You see how I'm using my pressure and how that changes the way the colors come out. You know, Becky goes dark to light. I go light to dark. What's well, okay? You know, here's the thing with polys. I use them for, you know, more for hair and um, morals, Becky. The Christmas I use more for skin tones. You know. I wish I could do darker skin tone better. And next month I don't have a theme, but I think next month what I want to do is after we finish this picture, I think what I want to do is I want to go back and color the color of woman calendar because we stopped doing that. To me, that's a real shame because I bought the calendar and I didn't really follow through with that. You know, the Kelly O'Gorman calendar has some really lovely pictures in it that I want to color too, so. We're probably going to go to 345, guys, and then... You know what it is with the prismas is that if you're light enough handed with them and i think they're one of the more versatile brands and i've even said that that you can blend and mix with almost any pencil skin tone if you're patient enough and you learn and you practice with them enough sometimes it's just a patience issue Now I want to see. There's my blue jack. My blue pencil for Specky. I have all my pencils in different color faces. This is how I know where every pencil is because of what the colors are. Hi, Judy. We're starting another book. And this is called Cinnamon. Now, a lot of people use this as a skin tone. Becky, I think you use this as a skin tone, right? In the polychromos. But I use it as a hair color. Or I use it for trees.
you know, I've seen people do amazing pictures from this book. I've seen, have I seen pictures from this book that just blew me away? I wouldn't even know it was the same picture unless they told me. Um, Dee's done some amazing pictures from this book. I was just done by it. I wouldn't have even guessed it was um, this book because people have done such beautiful work that they've made some of the pictures. So you need. I was thinking of doing a Harry Potter picture, but I cannot find my Harry Potter coloring book at the moment, so. I'm sure they'll show up when I'm not looking for it. I think the only thing I haven't used yet is the castle lots in this book, so I don't know how those will work yet. And I have my castle lots over my shelf. Now I'm going to put, put the final color. I just, just like to put sometimes I like to put the pencils away because to be put. Now we're going to do the final pencil in the hat, which is going to be a problem. I have to look for the pencil. This is called Russet.
I really like these black wheels. They're like one of my favorite pencils. What, what do you mean by direction? I always sometimes when I have colors block, what I say is do something else. Focus on something else and then maybe come back to the picture a little bit later. Thank you, Kim. I really love it. I think the thing for me was that I've always been a little afraid of this book to cover this book. And I really think because this book has some of the most prettiest women and some of the prettiest images that I've seen in coloring books. And sometimes when we're afraid, oh no, Becky, I have Kirby, Kirby's books and I'm a little intimidated by his book. So I think the next thing, the next fear I want to overcome the next two fears that I need to overcome is coloring fur and animal, coloring animals and fur, and coloring Kirby's books. So those are the next two things that I need to tackle as far as fear goes, because these are things that I think hold me back. And when we're held back, we don't always do. The thing about Kirby's books is, don't get me wrong with the doodles, because sometimes I hate, like, some pictures have more doodles than others, and some have less. I think one of the reasons why a lot of people like um, one of the Morphia books, is that not color Morphia, and not the um, not the uh, but Phantom Morphe, but a lot of people said they liked the images because they were only one page. Some people said they didn't like the book because they felt that the book was not as many pages, not as detailed as his other books. So. I think, like, if you're going to do, you know, here's the thing with Carolina, Carolina, Carolina's books. I really am starting to like her books the more and more that I like color in her books, the more and more I like her books. You now, Ticket to Dreams, is it was a weird book for me. When I saw people first get the book, I didn't think much of it, but I've come to really love the images in it. 
the more I do that line work. And I was a little afraid to do the line work because it was such dark line work. Then I got over it and I really started to see. Exactly. And then I remember one day I saw somebody did a completed pages. They completed their whole Ticket to Dreams book. And I must say that when I saw that book fully colored in from front to back in that person's book, I was like, wow. They really did an amazing job in that. And the images just popped for me. And I think that's what finally sold me on the book. And I think for me too, one of the things, really, that's interesting to do. I only have um, Ticket to Dreams and uh, the Other Side of Sleep book, but which is the post to show the book. I think it that's a contradiction in itself, Judy. I think once we're done with the hair, I'm going to uh, pull the stream a day and then we'll work on this tomorrow. I literally take everything that's off my desk over here. Really, I think what I want to do in July is I want to do some things that he, that I'm afraid of, or work on things that I haven't finished, like the calendar. And maybe, maybe if we're lucky, we'll start a curvy book. But I don't want to do something that's going to take me multiple, more than a few things, you know. Because in August we've got, um, you know, me and Becky are co-hosting. Creative Haven Month. I'm so happy that you like the books, Becky. guys I like this I love the hair Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm surprised that Xander liked the home one, uh, the high home one. He did another book. Um, Kirby did another book. Um, that was one of his early books before he did the Anamorphia series. Um, something with a sketchbook. Guys, this is let's put the top here a little bit.
This one you can hear in like little spots. So I think, well, guys, we're going to leave here. So, guys, thank you so much for coming. And we're going to continue her tomorrow, the girl tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for coming. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. See you tomorrow. And I think Alexandria is um, is streaming, but I'm not sure who's streaming after Alexandria, if it's Death or Kate. Or whoever. So thank you guys. Bye everybody.